My dear friends, the gospel that you have uh, heard is a collection of the teachings of Jesus on how to be the disciples or how to follow Him. These are all requirements, very rigid and very specific. He is outlining the way, the correct way to be His followers. Uh, it is, these teachings are all under the wider theme of his teaching on the narrow road. He said, take the narrow road because the narrow road leads to life. And the road that leads to perdition is wide and many take it. At one point, he also said, enter through the narrow gate because the narrow gate leads to true happiness and life. And the gate, the wide gate, leads to perdition and many, many people take it. So, mm, our question is, why narrow? You know, when you build a road, make it wide, right? Or when you make a gate, wide enough so your car won't dent and hit the side of the gate. But Jesus insisted on narrow road, narrow gate. It took me, I admit, some time to discover the wisdom behind this teaching. And I was looking, looking for ways to illustrate this clearly to you so you can connect with this teaching of Jesus on narrow road, narrow gate. I've been seeking for answers and ways to illustrate this clearly. And last week, I found it in a place where I least expect the Garden Department of Lowe's Home Improvement. <laughs> I was looking around there. I visit that place a lot. And um, I was looking for a lime. You know lime? The Asian variety. They call it kalamundin. It's an Asian variety that we use for sauce or, uh, you know, seasoning. And I found it in the citrus section. I found a plant there that's about two feet. And the pot was small and narrow. There are already some flowers and some little fruits. So out of curiosity, I went to the attendant and said, why did you put this in a narrow, small pot? Why didn't you put it in a big pot and deep so um, it will grow more and hopefully more flowers and more fruits? And then he answered me and I was surprised. You know, he said, sir, you know, that is precisely the reason why this plant is put in a shallow and narrow pot. The purpose is to challenge the roots, to pressure the roots to flower and to bear fruit. Because if you put it on a big pot and deep, it will become comfortable. It will not think of flowering. flowering. It will become self-centered. No flower, no fruit because it's comfortable there's abundant soil and it will just produce leaves and leaves no desire to survive you know no desire to flourish because it is comfortable it will become just a plant full of leaves 
And so I took the message there, you know, because that's precisely what life is. Um, when life becomes so easy, abundant, we have everything that we need, can get everything that we like, we don't think of other people anymore. And we tend to take things for granted. Look at the people who have everything and can get anything they like. They don't value what they have. They complain, you know, and they are not thinking of producing. You know, they are not thinking of others anymore. They are so comfortable in their big pot that they can get everything they like. They become self-centered. That is precisely the message of discipleship, that it is rigid. The followers of Jesus, there's discipline, so that we can begin to think of other people and begin to flourish and produce fruits. That thing is very real in our, in our parish here. As you know, we are in the journey of growing. And this is a time when we pass through this narrow journey in our buildings. You know, things are getting narrow, or the parking lots are getting narrower because there are modulars there that are narrow because we are preparing to bear fruit. In a couple of years, we will flourish as an abundant parish with buildings and fruit. In the meantime, we take the narrow gate. That is the wisdom of the teaching of Jesus. A good lesson in life. If you want to be somebody, start small. If you want to be successful, make little steps. Before you know it, you'll bear fruit and produce a lot of good for other people.